LYC might be nervous as it's his first time out of China, but he doesn't show it. Game 2 on Twisted Meadows, he expertly takes down Lin's bestiaries three separate times. A late creepjack pits both players' 50 food armies against each other. They come out equal except for Lin's red health units. Now, Lin, you know you can use something called healing salve to prevent losing your red health units? Despite healing some of his army, Lin cannot get past LYC's hard exterior of heroes and summits to his soft, juicy interior of druids of the Talon. LYC has been making a huge name for himself and continues with this huge upset. Dead Man gets creepjacked and loses his whole army, but he made sure to save his town portal. Something seems wrong about mass dots at tier 2 instead of tier 3. Oh yeah, no cyclone. Dead Man makes a comeback in the next battle, but he outstays his welcome. Lin quickly gets to the juicy center of the dots and completely messes up Dead Man's army. By the end, a level 5 Blade Master and a level 4 TC just do too much damage to Dead Man's dots for him to survive. For game 2, Dead Man takes done. advantage of what he thinks is Orc's weakest matchup, playing human. His timing looks good taking down a bestiary, but Footman died to just about anything in tier 2. Sky might make human versus orc look easy, but let me assure you, there's plenty of skill there too. You have to ask the full man and beastmaster, where the hell are the quill beasts? One of these players needs to start waiting for StarCraft 2. And I'll give you a hint, it isn't Lin. We move over to group C, easily one of the hardest groups with Sass, Zeus, Sohu, Insomnia, and Fly. Insom looks to win the group and beat Fly in the process. Game 1 is on Secret Valley. Insom's secret creeping location is found and Fly punishes him for it. Early on, Insom focuses the Blade Master, but a greater healing potion stops him from coming close to the kill. Insomnia can make a comeback against other players, but not against Fly. Insomnia gets a very nice map, Echo Wilds, for Game 2. Everything ends well that starts well for Insomnia, and this game starts well for him. Fly forgets about the Dusk of Appearance and loses his Blade Master, then he gets a Grunt Trapped, and oh, Insomnia traps another one! That's a top play nominee. Insom dominated early, but it just did not seem like a, he could get a Blade Master kill the rest of the game. Here he just misses the bolt. Let's have another look at that. It looks like he almost gets it, but the Invulnerability Potion gets there just in time and somehow stops the bolt. Insom tries again in the next battle, but the Blade Master again slips through his grasp. This time, Insomnia gets the bolt, but the Invulnerability Potion stops him, but only for a few seconds. Insomnia gets the kill. Last time after the Blade Master kill, he got two grunts. This time, how about a big W? Insomnia comes through as he tries to stay undefeated going into Game 3. The final game is on Twisted Meadows. Insomnia gets creepjacked early and waits to Town Portal while his army gets massacred. We'll talk to him about that later. In the final battle, Fly's heroes dominate. Level 5 trumps level 3 all day long. Fly won the match. Insomnia, obviously this is a tough win for you, but what do you think about the playing conditions at ESWC? Well, I, I guess I should start with uh, stating the fact that we're using 17 inches monitors here, not flat screen, and this is, it's so hard when you're used to playing on a 19 inches. It's, I really don't know when I am surround, if I, if I have surrounded something, I can't say how much, like, can't measure correctly. It's, I even make mistakes when placing my buildings, when playing on, on uh, such a small monitor here. And this is a, this is a huge fault by SWC this year. And, um, my micro is also bad, like, when I look at, in the start of the battle, when I look at the battlefield, I, I'm used to telling what units he has, how many units he has, and I can immediately decide if I should go into this battle or I should go back. But on those small monitors, you just miss a lot of things, and that makes you play bad. And I, I saw many players play below their level here, and I'm pretty convinced that uh, this is the reason. And I also spoke with some players, and they said, yeah. In the second group phase, the most interesting groups were Group A and Group C. Seed, could you tell us why they're interesting? Group A, we saw some amazing upsets. Dead Man went two for three and got knocked out in fourth place behind Nilknarf, Lin, and LYC. Now, Nilknarf getting third, that's good for him because it's a very, very hard group. Now, Lin, he did well. Four wins, one loss. The one loss came against LYC. That's Night Elf against Orc, a very hard matchup for the Orc Lin. 
but it's really impressive to see LYC, the, his first time out of the country, to come in and win his uh, his group in ESWC. So Lynn and LYC will be advancing. Now, Group C is also interesting because it is packed with a ton of good players. Fly, Sass, Sohu, and Insomnia. And Sass had a terrible day, went one win, four losses. And then Fly and Zeus even came, came up there. They came very, very close. But what it came down to was Insomnia beat Sohu in his final game. That pushed him to to four wins, one loss, rather than, than being in a three-way tie with three wins and two losses. So Insomnia and Sohu will move on to the next round from that group. 